how to treat your skin at home with my Skin Meso Home Kit. With your stamp, I'd like you to do a first clean. Spray on and allow to air dry. Then clean and cleanse your skin. This is quite an important step. Um, it's really important to get rid of any top layer of grime, so remove any makeup. I love to clean, cleanse the skin with this cleansing oil that I use. And you can also do a double cleanse if removing makeup. Use these dampened cloths that I like, and then I'm just going to remove the skin there. Again, a second spray of the stamp, please, and we look to exfoliate. Um, your products will be in your pack or whatever you have recommended. So ensure your skin is dry first before you apply. Please close your eyes, breathe out, and squirt the peel over your skin, backs of hands and arms if you're going to treat that area as well. Leave it on, clean the peel brush, So it just brushes in the peel a little bit more and you will leave that exfoliator on your skin. Always clean the brush again straight afterwards. Taking your serum, put the needle into the grey bit and push it to the corner, to the neck of the pot. Then draw and empty into a clean bowl and put all the serum in. It's easier and much more efficient during treatment. With the brush, clean brush, brush a layer of the serum over half the face that you're going to work on. It might tingle a little bit as you've applied the peel, but this will also just soak into that newly exfoliated skin, careful around the eyes. Only a thin layer as you can see, I'm literally just sort of flashing it on there. Right, stamp. Take lid off and start pressing quite firmly along the jawline, slight overlap and go all the way to the ear. Then turn the handpiece and go the other way on a more landscape approach, exactly the same pass. And then on an angle, repeat. So we're talking three passes on one area. Then go to the next layer, see how firm I'm pressing there. Next layer, again, landscape, turn it portrait, repeat the process a third time with the stamp at a funny angle. That's a better example there for that. So there we go, that is the firmest pressing stamp you will do. Very good, Jen, well done. So, next step, we're gonna work down the chin area and focus on the mental crease there. Now, you're reducing the pressure. You may get a slight pinpoint bleed. You press as firm as it's comfortable. Then working up the mesonette lines and the nasal fold, you can that's quite firmly there, but again, reduce down now over the lip. This hurt, this is not pleasant. <laughs> Look at my face. Whew. Very good. Now we're working around the cheek area, all the way along. Now this is, say, the same as the chin, this kind of pressure here, but be careful, it gets very sore on this cheekbone. Three passes, that's meant to be an angle. There we go, over the top. Then you sort of work over again, plant another row there, and now we're working from the bunny lines up to the crow's feet, and then I tend to sort of go fan it round that corner there. Not too many passes, just limit it to the three, press on the nose and around the eyes best you can, working then up towards the forehead. Now as we work our way up again, we're looking at doing a little bit of a cross hat situation. Gently, we're not pressing hard. This is about the same as the lip, working over the frown and the forehead lines in a methodical way. So I tend to do it in a big back rub, and it will make you sneeze when you work up the top area. Then I work my way down, look at that. All right, and then I'm guessing, yeah, back the way up, and you start incorporating the other side of your forehead. Now, apply another layer all the way over of the serum. Now it will tingle because the um, channels in the skin are open and then start to introduce the other side of your face so whilst you're doing that over the top serum layer you can now put the base layer of serum on the other side of the face because guess what we're going to start stamping down that side of the face now I have sped this up um, it's going a little bit faster than it did on the other side be careful around the eye area now look you can see how my skin's starting to go red already around that edge that's what I meant by it being sore so please do not overpress around this area. I've not drawn blood, it's just red. Down and over the cheek area again. Bunny lines round. Medium pressure. Different angles, three passes. Working 
down there with these net lines there, over the chin area, three passes, be careful over the lip, press less. <sighs> Your skin may itch, that's what that's about. Now we can start to press firmer. See how my skin is pushing against the pressure on the stamp? Be pressing as hard as you can in this thicker area and at, at least two rows. Very good. Now apply another light area, like we say, back over the skin, all the way over. It's quite refreshing and nice. It can be a bit itchy and sore. And then a final kind of, I call it peppering, ever so lightly press over everywhere, all over the face, just gently. Uh, this is just pushing in the product, fantastic for that initial hydration and fine lines and pigmentation. So opening and applying your Hyalonic Youth Mask, um, cut off the edges, this is just the easiest way to gain access to this mask. Peel them open, um, take out said mask, put a little bit of the excess that's on there on directly onto your face. Hyalonic acid, it's got a bit of collagen and of aloe vera and it's delightful. Peel them open, you're looking to remove the white gauze, that, that's of no use. So peel him off, throw him away, and then the soft side of the mask goes on the face. Oh, so, so nice once that's on. Nice gem, nice gem, very good. Now you're looking to get an edge and peel off the blue bit. That's it, and that also goes in the bin. And then just sort of straighten them out and massage them up. So nice. Now we move on to neck. Now I keep those little flaps up, and then again I've sped this up. Apply your serum all over your neck because you can kind of rattle through this quite quickly with your stamp. So I like to put a layer all the way over. Now, lift up your flaps, yeah, it's very good. And then press quite firmly underneath the jawline there. As firm as you can go with this stamp and three passes whilst turning, there we go, the stamp. Be careful there. And you're looking to go in a sort of methodical backwards and forwards routine and down the neck and up again. That to me is the most efficient way to cover the sort of larger area of the neck. So I go in three ways, similar to the forehead really. What I wanted to show you here is the pinkness that I'm creating. The erythema there is absolutely perfect. No blood. It's not painful. I mean I can feel that I'm doing it, but as you can see I'm not wincing. Now to go over this thyroid area, reduce the pressure. This does slightly hurt, as you can see. Then move over to the other side of the face and start the same process again under the jawline there. Pop the flaps down, that's it. And then work the area. So I've gone a bit closer here so you can see as the redness comes up, working through the lines there. Again, this is faster than you can physically do, but it's quite boring to watch. Up and down. So you've covered that. That did take me about five five minutes to do all that. And I tend to go around the back there quite a lot because I've got short hair. You see the redness coming up there? That's all we're looking for. Delightful. Should be pink and a bit sore. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Itchy. So another layer of serum over the top. Again, this may sting. Now work down onto your decolletage. Um, yes, very good. Put a little layer. Don't forget the backs of your hands and your arms. So you're looking to paint a little bit of serum on there as well. And then off we go again. Now on your collarbone there, it can also be a bit sore. I'm not pressing hard, I'm pressing fast. Not that fast, but I am pressing. So you're not really catching the skin in any way. You're just stamping up and down as quick as you can and as firm as that is comfortable. And again, a couple of passes all over the area. You can see that redness coming up. And I've got quite reactive skin. So you've got slightly darker skin than me, you won't see that redness, um, but I'm not looking for much more than that, and especially no blood when working this way with the mesotherapy approach. Great for getting rid of that tan, you know, that pigmentation. Backs of hands, again, not as methodical perhaps on the face, just get some a couple of passes there across the hand, and then I've got a couple of ladies that were tweeting the arm, so I thought I'd keep that in as well. Again, because of the tan, you know, previously you used to always have your arms out and now I've got sun damage on my arm, so I'm trying to get rid of that with me meso. Another nice layer just over the top of the serum. Again, this may sting, but it's actually quite pleasurable. 
with the mask packet there's often quite a lot of product left in, in it so if you just want to rub that over your neck and decotage and over your hands it's actually very soothing and quite delightful very nice very good job well done so massaging the mask in leave for 20 minutes if you've got any of these fancy rollers that are available these days on the market i love this jade roller i love these um it's just a bit of lymphatic drainage i don't claim to know how to do this overly um professionally it's just quite nice it's soothing again i'm going really fast there i've sped this up to like two and a half the pace i'm being much kinder to myself and then i use the little side of the roller just to work around my eyes I, in my brain here, I'm just sort of pushing in the product and doing a little bit of lymphatic drainage. That's it. Clean your stamp whilst your mask is on, ready to put him away. Don't put the lid on yet whilst it's wet, let that dry. 20 minutes has passed, remove the mask, throw him away, and then just massage in anything that's left. It's often quite dry, to be honest. So what we need to do to finish the routine is preserve what we have done. So you're just looking for some simple creams that just go on the top, nothing too thick, you don't need any more serums and you don't need to over massage it in. SPF if it's daytime, if you're going to be going out into the sunshine or even generally, um, you can put the SPF on. You don't have to do both, you can do one or the other, I genuinely don't mind. But the thing is, no more serum, just a little bit of cream to preserve the work that you've done. And massage it in gently, back some hands and the forearms and you're done. That is it, complete treatment.